You may have seen something like this before. It's a scar, but it is a very thickened, rubbery scar. Whenever uh, fibrous tissue overreacts in the healing process, this is often referred to as a keloid. Here is what this may look like if you removed it and cut it uh, cross-section wise. You could see there's some skin here, but there is a uh, thickening as well. You could really appreciate it here. You can't appreciate it here too much. Maybe you can appreciate it here a little bit as well. Microscopically, you can see along the lower edge here some epidermis, some dermis, perhaps some hair follicles, skin appendages, but the uh, dermis uh, is tremendously increased in thickness by this huge bundle of uh, collagen. Uh, in addition, keloids frequently have what they call these glassy bands. There are areas of particularly thick uh, collagen deposition. Here we have uh, collagen and fibroblasts, but the glassy bands are almost pure solid super collagen. You see them here and here and here. And these are quite typical for keloids. Keloids are probably most commonly seen uh, in ears as well as surgical incision areas. And if you ever see somebody walking down the street with a big rubbery uh, lob uh, fibrous uh, nodule in the ear, especially if the ear has been pierced, you can bet that's a keloid. Or if you ha yourself have surgery and the scar looks really thick and ugly, you could probably bet that that's a uh, keloid as well. Thank you very much.